Hey guys! We are playing some FTL. And this is a game that came out a couple months ago, and uh, I've wanted to do some videos on it. Uh, you can thank Cadlos and Can for being fucks and getting me addicted to this game. A bunch of assholes. Um, so I'm going to be doing multiple runs through it. Uh, for the most part, I will try my very best to complete a run. If I die, I'll just redo it uh, off screen to the point of which, at least the sector of which I died. Trying to stay relatively true to what I was attempting to do. So um, usually you start with this ship, but I actually have them all unlocked. Not legitimately, I got it through a, uh, a save file because I don't really have the patience to unlock everything, and so uh, I'm, I'm a jerk like that to deal, deal with it. So I'm actually going to be uh, using this ship. Um, we call it the USS Railfuck, so that's what I'm going to name it. <laughs> and this is basically a space simulation game uh, written in C++ by, I think, two indie developers who did a Kickstarter campaign. So let me go name everybody here. Um, so we have basically uh, about six races in this game. I think it's six. Uh, so the races, this, this ship actually starts with four, which is actually really nice. Uh, so we have the humans, which have no exceptional traits whatsoever. I, I actually don't like them. So he's probably going to be remaining on pilot. We have the Mantis, which is uh, basically they're great as fighters. By the way, if I put anybody on... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be explaining this game uh, with my first run here, so you'll have to forgive me. So, since this guy is good at fighting, I'm going to call him Mike Lap, because, yeah. Um, so, this is the big rock guy. Uh, it's He's a rock man, and this race is... Uh, they cannot be set on fire, they're immune to it, they can't be damaged by it, but they're very slow, but they have a lot of health. So, um, I'm going to call him Jay, because Jay is fat and doesn't want to do videos with me anymore. <laughs> um... I'm gonna call the person with no exceptional traits uh, Ken because he doesn't make LPs anymore. He really doesn't have any exceptional traits. Why do I do videos with him? And the last guy I'll make this guy, Kadlo, since he also... Uh, he was also the one who introduced me to this game. Um, so about this ship a little bit. It has... The reason why we call it the rail fuck is because it has a giant rail gun. Uh, that is its special ability. It, it, it goes right... It penetrates right through enemy shields and things like that. Uh, and it also starts with a burst laser. Now, there's also Type B of the ship. There's, there's plenty of ships, and I'll probably do the more notable ones. Uh, but with, without further ado, let's get started. Um, so we are playing a normal. Normal, um, I'll explain a little bit of that in a bit. But first is dialogue. So apparently the data I need is vital to the Federation ship, ship um, fleet, so I need to keep basically going to the right to go uh, catch up with them and give them the vital information. Uh, so it gives you a tip every time you start, and I press continue. So I'm gonna try and just summarize the dial, uh, whatever the text is on the screen whenever uh, you see it, so you'll have to forgive me on that. So this is uh, essentially uh, the, the main interface of the game. And so we basically have a couple of systems here. So uh, first of all, the rock guy, I'm gonna make him man shields, and I'm gonna make myself man weapons because I, I enjoy rail guns. Okay. So since I'm so fast, I can easily get to the to the other side of the ship, I figure. And um, I like to put NGs on. So uh, basically what each thing does is, this is the piloting. So piloting is self-powered. All these things, all the subsystems are self-powered. And so um, the, someone always needs to be piloting because if someone isn't piloting, you'd lose all your evade, which allows you to dodge incoming fire. Um, having someone on engines increases this evade chance. However, uh, it's probable that uh, but you, you can take him off if you, if you need to, so that's why I put the NG on it. Having someone on shields uh, makes your shields recharge faster, and having someone on weapons makes the weapons charge up faster. Um, so you can you can divert power from different systems just by using the little menu here. So I have like one bar into the artillery beam, which is the rail gun. You're going to be hearing me call throughout this LP. I have my shields up here, so uh, it, it will absorb one shot of any type except for missiles. Missiles penetrate right through uh, shields. So you can dodge the, 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 the missiles, but you know it's, it's not 100% guaranteed. I can also see every player and they can... Uh, I can also see how, how good they are at, at leveling things up. So they get better at shields, they get better at weapons. So I don't really... I usually make them specialize and I try not to lose any crew members. Um, in the, with the case of uh, evading, you basically gain a point every time you evade something. 
You can also divert power from oxygen if you really want to, if you feel the need to, which is kind of cool. It's, it adds a lot of strategy. So oxygen is represented here, and usually when it gets about below 20%, there's not enough oxygen within the ship uh, to keep people alive, and then they'll they'll start losing health. You also have a med bay to heal your crew members. However, you do not need to keep it powered if like nobody is around. So if nobody needs healing, they have to be in the med bay, at least for this ship type. We also have a camera system, which is actually offline at the moment because, uh, well, we're in a nebula right now, and that's one of the side effects of nebulas is it becomes harder to use sensors and things like that. We also have a door system, and I can I can choose to open and close all the doors or individually open them. And this is used for strategically venting atmosphere from compartments that are on fire or that have enemies. And I don't really treat this as a high priority. Some players do, uh, but we'll get more into that a little later. Um, and we, we also have power to shields, power to engines, which gives me more of a, if you notice, if I take out a point, it's 15%. If I put in a point, it goes to 20. So each one, each block is worth 5%, plus the amount of experience that person has in driving in the ship. So that also helps. The railgun will charge faster if I have more points, and unfortunately I can only have one point in it right now. Um, everything basically does something a little bit, a little bit different. Uh, and so I, I, and I am currently using all my power, so I don't have any more power. Um, I have three blocks here. One is for fuel, which each jump consumes one fuel. So if you run out of fuel, you are stuck where you are and you have to wait for someone to either answer your distress call or something else. Uh, you also have missiles, but I don't have any missile weapons. I have all laser weapons, but if I did have missile weapons, uh, each, each shot would consume one of these. And then I have a drone part, which, uh, if I have drones, which this ship is not equipped with, they would use up one part every single time. Uh, within the ship, I have the ability to upgrade whatever I want. I do not have enough resources to upgrade pretty much anything. So at the moment, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I, if I want, I can dismiss, uh, Candor Catalyst if they're being douchebags to me again. Or, um, I can also switch out weapons. I have cargo, which is basically, could, can be either weapons or drones, and also augmentations on the ship, which I currently have none. And these are passive abilities that your ship always has. So, uh, without that, without further ado, let's, uh, get going. So this is the jump map, and so basically I have to select an area to, to jump to. Uh, also, the one last thing I, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention is I have, um, Hall integrity. So every time a shot, uh, gets through, gets through my shield, it will hit a bit of my hull. So I have to, hull is the most precious resource. So um, these are regular star systems uh, everywhere. And then in here I have a whole bunch of uh, nebulas. Now nebulas are kind of nice because the fleet pursues pretty much, uh, you're gonna notice this in a minute, uh, but so here's a scout ship that we're actually gonna be fighting. So I'll be explaining this. So one thing you can do is you can pause this game. And so like at this moment I can go decide, okay, I'm gonna go and auto fire, which means I don't have to, I can just ignore this from now on and just fire out their weapons. So you can target different subsystems and they, and they work exactly like yours. If I take out his weapons, he can't fire his weapons. If they take out my weapons, I can't fire my weapons. So it's it, it applies either way. So you can pause the game and give yourself as much time as you need. And that's a, that's a huge strategical component of this game. Um, anyways, the ultimate goal is, so he did hit my hull there, the ultimate goal is you, you are trying to get to uh, your fleet, and so by taking out his weapons, I am making him def defenseless, but, sorry, you're going to your fleet, but you're trying to explore at the same time, and this guy has really high evade, um, so he dodged two of my shots there. Uh, so yeah, you're trying to get back to the fleet, and so you're trying to explore as much as possible to equip yourself for the... Ultimately, what this game is about is the, the final battle, the final boss fight. There is a boss fight. Um, and so, with this ship in particular, uh, what my main goal actually here to do is to disarm him, and to actually wait until his railgun weapon is fully charged, and then it just does a hell of a lot of damage and it cripples him. And so now my laser will basically finish off his hull and he's dead. So as you notice, that shields were slowly recharging, and the ship explodes, leaving some resources. So after I kill everything, I get a bit of resources and money from it, and which means I can I can put that towards upgrades if I so choose to. Uh, but this ship is mainly about that railgun. That's what you want to be using. So we don't see the uh, the thing I was about to talk about yet. So we'll just continue on. So there's a mantis ship here, and now mantis ships are usually they like to board you. Uh, in this case, this one does not actually have a teleporter, so this one won't be boarding me, and this is probably because we're in the first system. There's there's multiple systems, and unfortunately, he, he hit my railgun, so I need to go and... Uh oh. Okay, so this is on fire, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to vent the atmosphere from that area. 
And I'm gonna just hope to hell that I can uh, I can kill him with uh, with this alone. And without weapons, he's actually kind of useless. So I can actually retarget his shields. So there's a, there's a whole. Actually, I'm gonna go get his weapons. I'd rather take less damage. So there's a whole element of strategy to this. Now, if I if I open all the doors and leave the actual ones going outside out, um, this will equalize the atmosphere. Because as you saw, I got rid of my uh, I got rid of the fire. But basically, you know, oxygen needs fire. Uh, so <laughs> fire needs oxygen. So uh, I I essentially removed the fire by removing the oxygen from the element, which is which is a a huge component of this game. Uh, you can do that. So at the, as as of this moment, I have 37 scrap. Um, I'm going to just hold on to it for now. Actually, no. Uh, so I'm going to get my first upgrade, and I'm going to upgrade the railgun naturally. What else would you guys expect from me? And so I'm going to do another jump to this area. Now, um, I know I haven't been able to explain quite yet. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're in a we're in a special little area. We jumped into the middle of a plasma storm, which means my my power capacity essentially just got halved. So I'm gonna pause it, and now I have to decide what is the most important. Well, first of all, I need to kill this guy. So burst laser is important. As important as oxygen is, I would rather have more shields than anything else. And we've just been boarded. So um, I'm, the rock guy can fortunately handle this one. He has a lot of health, so I'm just gonna let that happen. The reason I put the rock guy actually so close to the med base is because he's slow, and I sometimes will want to heal him. So. Uh, I figure that's a pretty important thing. And I'm going to target their weapon systems first. And unfortunately our O2 got hit, but we're, we'll be okay. It's not like these guys are actually doing anything. Because I have, I have absolutely no evade. I was actually hoping that I wouldn't need anything like that. So he can still power his weapons and things like that. Um, and I still have my shields powered. I can, I can divert power from shields probably to oxygen since he has no... Um, he, he's got he's got no weapons to hurt me with anymore, so I don't think shields are that important anymore. Actually, I can probably just bring. I don't think this railgun is actually going to be of use, so I'm going to bring you back to uh, J. J. Needs to go heal, so I can just bring him in here to go heal because they're really not doing anything else at this point. And without uh, without the engines being powered, nobody is actually doing anything because there's no there's zero percent chance to evade at the moment. So, and there we go, we won just by focusing down shields. Now, uh, this is actually a really fun game to play in LP because it's actually a completely random game. Uh, I'm jumping into places I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and it's it's because um, every every game every game is different. And by selecting normal, I've uh, there is no hard difficulty. It's just right now normal and easy. And easy essentially all it does is it just makes the randomness go more in your favor. Um, like, you'll usually win the random events, or there'll be easier enemies and things like that. Um, in this case, uh, it wasn't really... Um, it, it's it's a game that... Uh, oh, here we go. We got another automated... So he's um, so this guy's going to actually power up his FTL drive, um, which means if, if he jumps away, the fleet will get here... The enemy fleet will get here faster, and you still actually haven't been able to see that as of yet. So I'm actually going to target his engine systems because he's charging up his FTL drive and it just occurred to me that I could be uh, uh, charging up my railgun and stuff. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, and he hit my shield systems unfortunately so it's important that we get this guy over here to, to help with that. And this is a hull breach. And hull breach will be healed normally. I hope to god he is not shooting my thing there. Okay good. Fortunately, my shields are now critical, because I, I do not have any defensive per means of dealing with them right now. Unfortunately, missiles are kind of really cheap, because they go right through the shields and you'll take hull damage, and hull damage is very important to you. Uh, there's a lot to explain with this game, unfortunately. So, since I have no O2 power left, I figured I might as well uh, put it into more dodging. But now they have no weapons, so the point of that is useless. And we got some more scrap missiles and fuel out of that. Kind of nice. So I'm going to go into upgrades and get myself another power bar. Which means I get another power bar to allocate and I put that towards engine systems. And I figure actually at this point it might be a good idea to to heal up my two crew members that actually took damage. So that, that fight didn't actually go as well as I would have hoped because I was targeting the engines and I did take a bit of hull damage. So we can go to this store. 
Uh, but I don't have any scraps, so the point of that is useless, so I'm not gonna actually go there. Now, uh, let's see. There's a bunch of ships coming around a station. Uh, they need... Hmm. I tune into our unencrypted communication channel over here, half of the conversation. It seems that they need to pay, take possession of an enemy sh uh, ship in intact. Okay, I'll offer my services. Okay, so they don't think I'm properly equipped for it. That probably was a mission where you need to have a teleporter or something. So, uh, you get random events and things like that, uh, which allow you to possibly go and do some interesting things. But, uh, okay, unfortunately, there's a human here. Um, I'm going to get myself to come over here and help out, and I'm going to target his weapon systems. So the NGs are unfortunately not very good at combat, but they're very good at repairing. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, uh, but I but my character is very good at combat. So he's he, I can I can take him off weapons for just a moment, just to t just to take out his uh, weapon. Uh, like uh, it's still charging up. It's just not as fast as if, as if I was there, you know. Uh, so it's okay. It's okay if I don't have it. I mean, ultimately, what I'm doing is I'm just—it's a stall tactic to basically allow my 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 railgun to charge up and, and kill him, you know, because it it does it does actually amazing amounts of damage, penetrates all shields. It's it's fine, you know. So there you go, it's firing. And so now he's gonna power up his FTL drive, and this is also something that happens sometimes. Is occasionally they will surrender, and so he's offering me five missiles, two drone parts, and nine scrap. Now you can accept this. Uh, if you are low on resources, however, if you want scrap, you say no, and if there's no resources you want there, do not accept it. Um, I'm going to target his engines right now because, uh, well, it's delayed anyway, so. There you go, he's dead. And his, his shit explodes, and he gave me, he gave me more scrap than he was offering me before, which is absolutely fantastic for me. Um, so, this right here... As you can see, this is the enemy fleet, and the enemy fleet is slowly coming towards me. And so, ultimately, the goal of the game is I don't want to be in the enemy's fleet radius. However, I get more resources and, and fun things like that if I go and explore the, the, the galaxy I'm in, essentially. So, this is, uh, this is a trading ship, so they're trying to get home. So, we're going to have a look around here. And so, I have 24 scrap. I don't have a whole lot, so uh, I'm going to actually use my scrap to... Uh, fix myself and buy one thing of fuel. So you can buy fuel, missiles, or drone parts. Um, I can buy a drone control, which will allow me to uh, buy use drones, and they can be used defensively or offensively. Uh, you'll you'll see drones a little later. And we also have a crew teleporter, which I can use to beam to their ship, and I can attempt to kill off the crew without actually killing uh, the ship, which means I'll get more resources out of it. But th this is not a crew teleporter ship, it's a railgun ship, so I have to stick to what I'm actually good at. Uh, so there's actually three types of weapons here. Pegasus missile is a missile type weapon. Uh, this is actually one of the best missile type weapons uh, in the game, but I do not have even close to the amount of scrap required for that. Uh, a hull beam uh, is, is kind of like my railgun beam, except it doesn't penetrate through shields as well. Uh, it'll penetrate through one shield and it'll do one less damage, uh, basically. Uh, and it also does more damage. It's it's a nice weapon as well, but uh, I, it's not for this ship. This ship is much better as a distracting ship rather than anything else. And fire beam does uh, causes fires on ship, which which is also can be good for trying to take out the crew. Uh, but it also ca causes havoc because you can cause people to go off of things that they're supposed to be doing. Like if I if if they board me and cause me to get off get a guy off weapons, then. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, then, then they they they're making my weapons charge up slower. So it's all uh, it's a lot of metagame and strategy involved in this game. So I detect a rebel scout on approach uh, to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are not charged and they're not, but they're not firing yet. We're gonna intervene because we might as well fight everybody. All right, uh, targeting their weapon systems. Luckily, it's another one without a tele uh, a, a teleporter. Now, um, different targeting different things can have different effects. If you target engines, they cannot power their FTL drive. Uh, if you target their their cockpit, um, they can't evade anymore. So you'll every shot will be a guaranteed hit as long as that's down, which can be nice. Uh, if you target their shields, they won't have shields, so your next volleys will be even more powerful. If you target their oxygen, their ship stops making oxygen. Unfortunately, that means they'll go and fix that, which can be used as a good dis distraction maneuver. But most of the time, I don't actually do things like that because it's just it takes too much time. I would rather take out the thing that would be taking me out essentially. 
uh, while I wait for the railgun to basically charge up. And I can't aim the railgun at all, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I have no control over it. It just charges and does its thing. So the pump is bastards <laughs> expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. Yeah, well, we're done with you. So we're going to continue to explore this this galaxy. So it's a, it's a fun exploration game. Whew. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Uh, we we went to a class M star, which is a, a sun. We're basically in a sun system. And as I said, uh, there's no way for me to prevent for me of knowing that this would be here. Uh, except with one augmentation, but uh, we'll get into that some other time. Uh, so there's a pirate. Uh, so I'm basically doing a fight with someone who, with the sun here. And the reason why this is bad is it, it's going to randomly create fires on my ship. So let's go engage him. Uh, we can take out his weapon systems. That's that's especially with a missile weapon. That's the, our best option at the moment. So uh, one of the options you do have whenever you fight anybody is you can simply forgo. Oh great! You can forgo uh, uh, fighting them and try and charge up your FTL drive and jump away. That is an option. Fortunately, we're taking hull damage over here, so I'm going to vent that compartment as well. Now, the thing is, though, uh, he's trying to escape, and he's offering me absolute crap, so he's going to die. Uh, one of the things you can do is, uh, as str strategically wise, um, in this place, uh, they suffer the same problems as you do. When, you know that place that my reactor was cut, in, cut into half? Uh, they will have, uh oh, I probably should have done this. But the railgun will kill him, so it's okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to have another solar flare problem. They get the same problems as you do. They get their reactor halved or whatever that's about to happen. Uh, okay, so this is a distress beacon here. Let's go to distress beacon, shall we? Unfortunately, it looks like my shields are on fire. So this guy wants me to be lead him to his, uh, where he was going because his LFL navigation system has gone haywire. So we're going to lead him there because I'm a, I'm a nice guy. Let's go help this guy out. And I'm going to get actually both my guys here. So th th it did create a fire in the shield room. And, and fires can be really, really hazardous. But uh, in this case, um, it w I was lucky enough that the fires were not spreading anywhere. That would have been a huge problem. So uh, let's continue with artillery beam. Just one more upgrade on it. Sounds kind of nice. So this is where they want me to go. And unfortunately, I want to try and get as much as possible. This is going to be kind of risky. So automated rebel rebel scouts deployed a virus and disrupted my shield system. This is one of the problems that you can get uh, is they'll take out a random subsystem of yours, um, except for weapons, I think. And so that means uh, I have no shields when I'm facing this guy, which means it's absolutely imperative I take out his weapons. There is nothing more important to me right now than taking out his weapon systems because I have no defensive options right now, except for evading, of course. Okay, let's get this guy over here. Fortunately, they're gonna try and take out my railgun. I can get this guy though onto engines, so uh, I, 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 there's just uh, there's absolutely nothing I can do uh, in this case. And they're about to take out my uh, my artillery beam. Luckily, I just took out all of his stuff there. So, uh oh, okay, let's just go into here real quick. Um, this is the unfortunate part. There's no oxygen in there, and I'm I'm venting ox uh, ox uh, oxygen. I'm venting oxygen actually rather quickly. So um, even though I've killed him uh, and got great gained some scrap, it's actually very important I get in here right now and go and uh, fix this fix this part because it's like wow. Because you you can die extremely easily in cases like this. Like if you just do not have enough oxygen in your ship. Uh, look at that, I went down to about 40%. And I think it's judging by your crews, uh, the amount of crew you have, uh, the oxygen can deplete much faster. So, I'm sorry if I'm scaring you off from this game, because there is a whole lot of metagame to this that I'm, I'm, that I'm attempting to explain. And I know, I know it can be kind of disheartening to, to see. Okay. So now my power bars, as you can see, it, it, it's 20 usually. And now, since I'm going for, for the row 3, it's now up to 25, so... There's a bit of strategical element to this as well. All right, get this guy over here. So uh, you can wait for my oxygen to go back up, but I'm 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 badass enough that I I don't have to wait. All right, and so now I'm going up here, and I'm gonna 
there's a the civilian ship being chased by a pirate, so I'm gonna go aid the civilian ship. It's a power up my weapons. So it's kind of it's kind of really cool. Now this kind of ship is actually kind of interesting. You can actually kill them by O2 deprivation uh, if I target is uh, if I target is O2. Um, I'm a railgun ship, so I probably won't do that because there's no door there. Nobody can fix that uh, area. But that's something just to note. Um, I personally don't really care much for for doing that. Um, it's just not in my it's not my style. This is a really small ship though. Its subsystems are very clearly defined. It's just like three, like five of them, not three, but whatever. You know what I meant. Okay, so let's try his weapons again. Uh, this weapon he has right here is actually an ion cannon. Uh, you may have seen this before. It disables things rather than damaging them. And if the shields are up, it'll actually disable the shields. Uh, for, like, a certain amount of blocks of the shield, so that's what it does. So I hasten to contact the civilian ship after killing the pirates. And uh, the crew was badly damaged. Uh, the, the ship you saved was badly damaged. However, one of the crew has offered to come in to join my crew. So I'm going to say, welcome aboard. And so I now have another Rockman. It's a random crew member that joined my crew, which is kind of nice. Um, so, you know what? This guy hasn't gotten a whole lot better at evade, so I'm going to put the NG off. Uh, because, honestly, it's so close to the beginning that it's probably better if I have the NG running around repairing stuff. If you, if you haven't noticed, I've actually been doing that. Is I've been uh, taking the NG off to repair things. And by doing this, I don't have to do that anymore. Uh, the ship well, I was escorting thanks me. Uh, and so he's going to apparently show me his wares, okay? Well, I don't have enough money. I didn't actually know this would be a reward like that, but I might as well take fuel while I'm here and and repair just a little bit. Now here's uh, a problem that I'm going to run into. Unfortunately, this actually shows where the, the fleet is going to be when I jump next. So they're actually going to be within the radius and since this is too far away. Um, so I'm now jumping into the Federation fleet, which I will be facing one ship. So uh, what you want to be doing in this case is powering up your engines and uh, stall tactics, basically. You do not get any sort of reward from this. Uh, it's just one fuel in case you where Dobbin decided not to have fuel. So right now, this is a total waste of my resources being here, uh, which kind of sucks. Um, and also, he has a, a, like a hell of a lot of like shields. So I'm gonna have my NG help out here. This is this is not good. Hopefully, the railgun will damage him a little bit. This is this is how I die, guys. Uh, so the railgun did a bit of damage. It didn't actually harm his weapons like I was hoping it would do. The shields are not going up because I don't have any power in them. Oh, that's unfortunate. I had almost max health, and this is this is this is the bad situations that you can get yourself into. Uh, okay, let's let's go jump to the exit. Unfortunately, a rebel ship is still going to be there. And so that's that's how I'm gonna be screwed. All right, let's go and uh, hop back. Uh, power up weapons. Unfortunately, I don't think this is really gonna help. I'd rather actually keep my crew alive right now. I don't want to risk uh, a possible. Uh, I'm not gonna fire back. Essentially, I'm just gonna hope that the railgun shoots him because he's got that missile thing, and I hate that missile thing. And he unfortunately hit my my fucking railgun. So it is it is honestly it's luck of the draw. I can get super unlucky and like in case like this. But you know half of it was my stupidity. I should have I should have not done that quest. The reward was was crap. And now my I have no door systems, which is actually a huge problem because I can't vent atmosphere from that area. So I'm gonna get this guy to to manage that. Luckily they're not taking out my. Uh, my engine systems right now. Engine systems. He missed it. He was he's planning on it, and we just have to wait for this to charge up completely. Please go back on shields. Okay, let's get the hell to the next sector. Whew. Okay, so uh, I have a choice of either going to Nebula, which things will be hard to see, or Mantises, which will likely board your ship. I'm gonna go to Mantises. I see it as the lesser two evils. And that's all the time we have for today, so tomorrow we'll do some more systems and we'll see how far we get in this. So I'll see you later.